The Mikhail Bridges trade to the New York Knicks has the rest of the NBA scared. The question is why? Mikhail Bridges has never been named an all-star. However, he is the perfect fit for the current Knicks core. A team that won 50 games and reached the second round of the playoffs with injuries to several key players. And now, with Mikhail, New York is going all in and putting themselves in the championship picture for the 2025 season and beyond. So what's up guys, Mike here, and I'm going to talk about this trade for both the Knicks and the Brooklyn Nets. But first, let's start with New York, where we are are going to speak about identity because to me the key to this trade is that the Knicks are going to be able to build upon the identity they've been building with a piece that fits perfectly into the play style we just watched win at a high level in the playoffs in the 2024 playoffs the Knicks played an extremely spread out style of basketball and really took the new wave of using wings at the power forward spot to the next level as we can see that in the 324 playoff minutes he locked OG and Anobi played 97 7% of those minutes at power forward. What's more, Josh Hart, who is capable of playing shooting guard and is listed at six foot four, played 30% of his minutes in the playoffs at the four spot. Mikhail Bridges is going to be seeing a lot of time at power forward and for good reason. New York found the key to their success with this style of play. It can certainly be argued that if injuries did not strike them, they would have reached the Eastern Conference Finals. However, playing clear wing players at the power forward spot has its positives and its negatives. Against New York Pacers power forward Pascal Siakam was able to average 20 points per game on almost 53% shooting as if he caught the ball in the right spot near the basket against undersized defenders there was very little New York could do to stop him with Mikhail Bridges playing in that same spot that is going to change which brings us back to the Knicks identity playing OG and Josh Hart at the power forward position this playoffs almost worked in fact it worked well enough that New York is willing to bet their entire future that it will pay off in the form of a championship in the years to come. New York set their 2025, 2027, 2029, and 2031 first round picks straight up, as well as including a 2028 first round pick swap and a 2025 first round pick owned by the Bucks. That is a lot. And again, we will look at this from the Nets perspective, but for the Knicks, they are betting on their current core and they are betting that adding the perfect player for their play style is going to be a needle mover towards their first championship since 1973. Yes, we've heard about the Villanova Knicks that type of team chemistry is important I also find it hilarious that Stephen A Smith once said this about that Villanova team Villanova doesn't have a real NBA prospect no, they on their don't. squad mm -mm. But what exactly does Mikhail Bridges bring to this team? Defense and shooting at the highest level. The two things that we know win playoff games, the two things that we know win championships, and the two things that the New York Knicks have been building their core around. Mikhail has spent his last two seasons playing for a horrible Brooklyn Nets team where he was put in a position that he should not have been in. Due to lack of other talent, Mikhail was forced to be a primary scorer for the Nets. And in 2023, after getting traded, he actually averaged over 26 points per game in 27 games played. Those numbers did drop to 19.6 points per game this season but now with new york mikhail is going to be sliding back into the role that he is meant to be playing in the nba with the phoenix suns we saw what mikhail bridges is capable of when you put him on a team that has scorers and playmakers around him that is when he's able to do what he does best spread the floor and play defense at a high level the highest of levels in the 2022 season mikhail averaged 14.2 points per game on 53.4 percent shooting and around 37 percent shooting from three his shooting from the three-point line has only gotten better as time has gone on which is a giant positive for new york as in that 2022 season bridges averaged just 3.8 attempts per game last season with the nets he averaged 7.2 attempts from three and still maintained that 37 percent shooting mark that is despite the fact that his open looks were cut down drastically as he was around the top of every team's scouting report the most important part of this trade though is going to be his defense for the suns in 2022 mikhail bridges was not only first team all defense he also finished second in the defensive player of the year voting as a wing the knicks are not just getting a plus defender here they are getting one of the best defensive players in the entire nba they are getting a man who on other teams would completely change their culture but for the knicks this is going to bring them to the highest level possible defensively especially if the reports are true and they re-sign og and in 2023 og was named second team all defense and this type of duo will be devastating for opponents the knicks are going 
going to be able to throw out a lineup with versatile defenders who can guard multiple positions at the highest level while also these players will be able to spread the floor and knock down open shots as Jalen Brunson runs the offense. In just the last two seasons, Jalen went from averaging 16.3 points per game in 2022 to 28.7 points per game in 2024 as he also finished fifth in the MVP voting this season. We have seen these types of later in their career rises from players such as Kyle Lowry or Steve Nash in the past. Brunson has made a tremendous leap here and New York is betting that they can focus on him now as their franchise player while also putting the perfect pieces around him that will play defense and hit their shots. That is not to mention that Julius Randle is now a wild card in this situation and what a wild card he is. In his last four seasons, Randle has been named an all-star three times. He was third team all NBA in 2023 after averaging 25 points and 10 rebounds per game. Yes, he has had his playoff struggles, but he certainly adds to the Knicks upside here. There really is no reason to think that the Knicks current core will not be a championship contender for the next several seasons, which means yes, they traded a lot of picks to get Mikhail Bridges. It is likely though that those picks are going to be in the high 20s as the key pieces on this Knicks roster are all around 26 to 29 years old. Some players such as Deuce McBride are even younger than that. I think it's also very important to note, we have watched teams make big time trades that just do not really make sense. If we're being honest, if the Knicks traded for Donovan Mitchell, would having two ball dominant shorter guards in Jalen Brunson and Donovan make sense? Not really. That trade would have been more flashy. It would have given the Knicks more scoring. However, there would have been a lot of problems on that roster. There certainly would have been tremendous risks involved in going all in on two guys who need the ball in their hands to be successful. With that said, there are certainly risks involved in this trade as well. Those risks really come in the form of something no team can control, injuries. If someone like Jalen Brunson were to suffer a significant injury and the Knicks were suddenly in a very bad spot where they couldn't contend with this roster, yes, things could take a bad turn quickly as they gave away so many of their future picks. Even if the Knicks succeed, giving away their 2031 pick is going to be a risk. However, if the Knicks are able to win a championship with this move, I don't think any Knicks fan will care about the 2031 draft. And what's more, New York has become a destination team lately. It used to be no one wanted to play for the Knicks. If they're able to continue to build this culture, they will be a free agent destination. That is what New York is banking on here. Now, looking at the Brooklyn Nets, the key to this trade is the fact that they are now able to tank freely. The Nets not only received all of those Knicks draft picks, they also were able to trade with the Houston Rockets and get back their 2025 first round pick. It was going to be a swap in favor of the Rockets, and they also got their 2026 first round pick back. This is a tough truth for Nets fans, but this is going to allow the Nets to rebuild properly. Without their picks, they were stuck in limbo. What were they supposed to do? Their roster was not competing. It is very unlikely Ben Simmons becomes a superstar again overnight. And already this season alone, the Rockets have benefited from the James Harden trade slash the disaster that has become the Nets as the Rockets have the number three pick in this year's draft, which should have been Brooklyn's. It's never easy to swallow your pride and say, hey, we have a terrible roster. We have no hope for the future here. We need to make moves in order to get our picks back and rebuild. That is what the Nets just did. The 2025 draft has received tremendous buzz. Cooper Flag is a giant name. Some are saying that he is a generational type talent. People are saying he is just one tier below a guy such as Victor Wembenyama. We will see on that, but the 2025 draft is also supposed to be full of several potential star power type prospects. And now the Nets can comfortably win something like 10 to 15 games, go full tank mode and rebuild through the draft. Not the best scenario after selling their fans on a super team that involved James Harden, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Durant. But after that team self-imploded, at least they now have a direction they're going in. So there we have it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss a video like this. I will be covering all of the big trades this NBA offseason, all of the big signings. Let me know what you think about this trade down below. If you did like this video, I think you'll like this video on the worst draft bus in recent NBA memory, or you'll like this video that YouTube is recommending for you specifically. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music.